Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we are going to be, one, playing on my hunter, because I don't normally do that, and two, reviewing a lot of people's favorite weapon, or old time favorite weapon, the, the sunshot. So, I'll roll that intro, and let's get into this. So, if the camera is a bit shaky for a bit in this opening part, that is completely fine. I am recording with a new little stand thing that has like a flexible material so it's adjustable. And so it might um, wobble a bit, but other than that, it should be fine. Um, like, and when it wobbles, it'll just be for like a couple seconds. So, I am have not uploaded in a while. I mean, I have... Uh, done a couple Bionicle videos, but haven't done a gaming video in quite some time now, so I decided, well, I mean, why, what other thing to do than with the brand new Seasons of Arrival, uh, Arrival, um, <laughs> that sounds weird, um, to kind of look over this, see some cool stuff, like, this is a new item, an exotic cipher, um, don't know exactly what that does, I just am going to assume that you take it to one of these people and it'll give you an exotic. Um, I like some of the armor. A lot of this armor is pretty freaking cool. Like, if we look at it for my hunter, uh, the standard armor, that looks pretty cool, yeah. But then the ornament version with all this orange I just I love that I don't know why I just I think it's this metal part down here and just all the like random pieces that are just kind of orange and unique it's something we've never really seen before we've got some new items uh, so from the season pass I hope to buy it this season but um, so we've got this nice sparrow I kind of like this quite a bit I like the way it looks um, and then we've got this ghost, which I also really like. I don't like it more than some of the things, but I kind of just like how simple it is. And it looks kind of boxy. And I like the square things. Um, we've got a nice little, uh, revolution blade execution, which is pretty nice. Now, I do not have any of this. I have not bought this yet, but eventually I will. Um, we've got a couple shaders. So... Um, this one is kind of just like, I don't know how you would describe that, uh, blackish blue with a hint of brown or like tan, and then we've got, th uh, this one, in the Throne of Soot, which is, ooh, that's disgusting, I don't, I don't like that, um, it doesn't even change the color of the cape, which makes you look like a mandarin orange. So, um, yeah, and you could get raid banners, enhancement cores, all this stuff. Bright dust, that's nice. I don't have a lot of that. Um, you get some new emblems. The new Umbral Engrams, uh, new to this season. Um, I have, I've only opened one of them, and it was from the tutorial mission introducing them, but they seem like they've got a lot of potential. Um, and then we've got these, and I'm... Only gonna go over a couple things that I like. I really like this. I don't know why. I just love all the hive themed items. They just look and feel so cool. I wish I had more of them. I wish I had any of them. Let's see. I've not looked at this. This looks. Ooh. Maybe with like a shader or something. Oh. Alright. That's nice. Shadow guilt on that ghost looks very, very nice. Let's see, what is this? Chicken dinner? Am I gonna... Oh. Wow, alright. Um, but, 
we will just kind of skim over some of the sparrows. So we've got four new sparrows. Oh, what is this? Or, I don't think these are new sparrows. I don't think some of them are new. Because I think I've seen the, uh, some of these before. But so we've got a new roll of sparrows in here. This is this is not a new sparrow. This is a black armory thing. Huh. I've never seen this before. Um, but yeah, so we got those. We've got new rolls on these, which were the replacement for I don't I don't know. I only know them as bright engrams. Um, we got some ships here which look to be new. Let's see. The Overaptor. This looks stupid. But anyway, besides that, let's get into this. So, where am I? I'm over here. Alright. So, can, can you look at me, sir? Sir? I, I think this dog is messed up. Alright. So, a precision hit on a war beast, red health bar will insta kill if you're on not on it will probably well i don't know precision hit again stop moving yep that and what you're seeing the secondary explosion is the exotic perk which i will now go over and i do want to start working on my other characters um Definitely, I kind of like the, this uh, hand cannon though, so I'm definitely going to finish its masterwork. But so its exotic intrinsic perk is this weapon fires or its sunburn, and this weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from the sunshot. And um, so we've got the sun blast, which is the second perk. Uh, targets killed with sunshot, so the hand cannon, explode in solar energy. So even if I, so it takes two hits, stop moving, and it'll blow up just like that, all right? So on a, a goblin, same thing, precision hit will insta-kill. Oh, I didn't mean to toggle that tribute. Oh, all right. And it's looking like it's gonna take three shots on a goblin uh, three body shots on a goblin, so, and you gotta remember, headshots don't do precision damage, so, on, uh, goblins and stuff, so, yeah, three shots to the body on a hobgoblin, so, it's one precision, two body, one precision, three body, alright, now, and those were both red bars, now, I'm not gonna go through all of these, I have a couple more on the other side, but so with the harpy, uh, which is a yellow bar, or not yellow, orange bar. Oh, I don't think that was a precision. Hold up. Very, it's got a very fast fire rate. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six precision shots on an orange bar harpy. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine body shots. So against harpies, it is not that great. It probably uh, would better earn, le well, never mind. Um, Legionnaires, headshot. Um, we've got three, four, six, so it, it's looking about the same for the yellow bars. So, six precision, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it is looking about the same. I'm not going to test it on this guy because I know it's going to be the same. Um, over here, I believe I still just have, uh, I don't think I have any yellow bars, but so it is not too efficient on higher uh, rarity things. It is very versatile though. 
You can de and it's got a pretty good reload speed too. Um, all in all, this has uh, been a kind of weird. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm a bit out of style for it. But it is definitely a very effective weapon. You just need to know where to use it. So I'm actually going to hop over to the um, World Eater in the Leviathan. And I'm going to uh, just test it out there. Why is this? Alrighty. Um, now that I am here at the Leviathan, I don't know why I'm getting this cutscene. I probably haven't been here on my Hunter before. Um, also, fun fact, I've never, in D1 and D2, all across the board, I have never fully completed a raid. I've gotten really close in D2 on a cup. every time I get a team that feels like we should be able to finish. One person always goes, alright, uh, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get food, and then everybody else just leaves. But, so that's just a fun fact. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Oh. I think it's just always done that. But, so, I'm not gonna shoot these guys because I don't want to waste too much time. See, those are... Yeah, those are orange bar, too. I'm just gonna go into the main area. Um, I really wish people would do uh, Scourge of the Past more. I mean, I don't know exactly how it's like doing it. But it looks super fun, and I wish people would um, be willing to teach how to do it. I have not a slight understanding of some of the parts, but, like, the Sparrow one is pretty easy. I know that. Um, and then I think the end part I'd have a tiny bit of trouble with, and I'd have quite a bit of trouble in the beginning. But um, besides that, I am almost where I want to be and so hopefully I will uh, gain a good amount of progress to my catalyst while I'm here as well all right there are some enemies down here alrighty so we've got a big group of enemies all right now let's just go at them It's got a pretty good damage range. Now, I'm not really aiming for the head. I'm just trying to... I need you guys close together. Come on. Come over here. Come punch me. Come on. I know you want to. All right, well that didn't work. Um, but it is definitely a weapon that can support itself. Um, as you can see, I had very little trouble with them. Yeah, I was kind of hiding because I was not too sure. I wasn't hiding, I was just reloading and taking tactical advantage. Um, where, how do I get more enemies to spawn? I don't come here that often. So I don't really, do I have to pick this up? Oh, I've got to pick up this thingy down here. Don't I? No, I just have to be down here so the big guy spawns. Hello? I'm assuming this is the Castellum. Alright. Um, just get a- Oh, Pronade. Big, uh, big guy? Is there a big guy yet? Nope. I wasted that celestial. Now. Alright. Let's try to get some more sunshot kills. Holy moly. 
dodge. Holy cow, there's so many of them. I mean, I guess this part is kind of designed to have six people. I wish there was like a hunter dodge that would heal you. There probably is with some like random exotic. And what I mean random exotic is probably like some random exotic helmet or weapon. But as you can see, it is definitely able to support uh, itself. Like I'm going against multiple legionnaires at the same time. And I have pretty low resilience stats, so I'm taking a bit of damage here. Oh, I missed. Eat. Ooh, I don't want to die. Now, one thing is for sure, Rocket Launcher definitely beats Sunshot. Let's just be real here. Um, it is definitely doing a pretty good job on these guys. I mean, these are 750 light level, so they're not too hard, but it definitely is just mowing through them. Did pretty good against a uh, phalanx too, a phalanx, however you want to say it. Oh, all right, I died. But it it is definitely holding up its own weight. It is able to deal out enough damage to fend off giant hordes. Um, it's got pretty good damage. I'm just not the best at aiming. Alright, I'm trying to lower these guys up a tiny bit. Alright, let's kill this guy. Ooh, they are charging me. It is... This is surprisingly better than I thought it was. I mean, I used to use this all the time, and I don't remember it being this good. Uh, when D, uh, Destiny, not D1, I almost said D1, when D2 launched, I remember everybody was using the Sunshot. And I have seen it quite a bit lately as well. Um, I mean, I don't play too much Crucible, so I don't see it that often. I just... I don't really like the whole PvP part of this, and I'll only play it if I have to for like an exotic quest. Like, I remember there was part of the truth quest that had me play three matches of the Crucible, and as soon as I played those three matches, I just immediately continued. Alright. If I had, if I was helping someone, or they were just doing it with me and they were behind a bit, I would do it because, you know, it's always better to have more people. Um, but I'm going to close out this video, um, by saying a couple things. So, um, first off, um, video you will be seeing in the future, probably not, um, but never mind, forget that. Um, so in the comments down below, um, I want you guys to pick a couple, like, just give me some... Com just all right. I'm, I'm. I cannot speak right now, but um, just comment down below some exotic weapons. So just uh, do one exotic per um, per comment. If you want to comment multiple times, that's fine. I'm not gonna be bothered by that. Um, but. Um, I will let you know if I have it or not, and I'll pick one of the comments down below uh, with an exotic listed, and I will use that exotic for a couple days, get a nice feel for it, so I can give a really good exotic review, and I'll probably uh, get some footage with it before I actually record the video, just so I have some clips of me using it, but, uh, so just comment down below, I'll put I'll run up here real fast and show you a list of all the exotics that I have so that if you don't have this game you can just kind of look over them and if you want to comment and pick one 
you can. So for exotic primaries, I've got all of these. I don't think I have any over here. Um, but so <clears throat> we've got all of these. Now I believe I've done a video for, um, oh, what, what did I do a video for? Uh, I, I think I did hard light and the Monte Carlo. No, it was hard light and some other, no, it was hard light and Suros regime. So don't comment those down below. I have a video for those already. And I don't think I've done another one. I think I was going to, I just never did. Maybe I did one for Monte Carlo. I don't know. But, so, here's all my primary weapons. Um, so if you want, you can comment down one of these. All my secondary ones. So, no sunshot or hard light. Um, yeah. So, we've got these. And then we've got my power weapons, which I don't think I've done a review on. I do have a lot of high damage ones like Sleeper and, um, oh, Sleep, wow, Whisper's damage is a lot better than Sleeper's, but Sleeper, I don't know about that, I don't know, but, so I've got all these, comment down one below, um, and I will see you guys next time, peace.